here's a quick lesson to improve the movement around the lips. This helps to hydrate the lips. It helps to activate the muscles around the lips. And it's great for enunciation. It's great if you're an actor, a singer, but especially if you've had a brain injury or um, difficulty with speech. This is very useful. And I just wanna thank one of my students for bringing this up. She had difficulty blowing a balloon. And if that's something that you struggle with too, this will help to strengthen the diaphragm and connect the movement through the mouth. So you're gonna take your hands like they're in a prayer position, fingers flat against each other, and the knuckles of the thumb it creates a little space. If you've ever held a blade of grass and blown on it, that is what we're simulating here. So you're going to inhale, if you can, through the nose. And then you're going to blow between your knuckles. Yeah? And try to make a sound with your lips flapping, okay? Now that may be hard to do right away, but just blowing and trying to get the air through this little space yeah and if you hold your lips together yeah it will vibrate and make more of a sound yeah so hold your thumb so the nails of your thumbs might be holding the tip of your nose and you push your lips into the backs of your thumbs and on the exhale try to push the air out between the knuckles. Okay, so it makes a little bit of a sound. Now you're saying, oh, I've done this, I've done this many times. How is this gonna help me? Well, we're gonna move this a little bit over now so it's off the center line and see if you can still make a sound with that section of the lips. So it's out of the side of your mouth. Now to the far edge. So you, you're pressing and blowing and vibrating different parts of your lips. Yeah? Yeah? You can do it this way too, but I think it's more fun to do it this way. So you're going to take the backs of your thumb knuckles and then move them a little bit to one side and blow in that place of your lips and continue. It's really tricky to get the edge. All right. So play with that. And there's so many other versions that you can work with with your fingers. You can try going like this with your fingertips and thumbs pointing toward each other. Yeah, you can do it all different kinds of ways to vibrate different parts of the lips together, okay? You could even use your fingertips, uh, the index fingers. Yeah? Okay, so that's the main part of this. And once you've established that, you can work with pulsing. So it's bop, 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 like a trumpet player and see if you can control the pulsing in a certain rhythm. Don't do this too much, but you'll notice <laughs> lots of circulation in your lips, around the lips, probably better than Botox, if you ask me, uh, who wants to have to do that if you don't have to. So I can feel the difference already in my lips, but see how this is for you, report back, and thanks so much, I'll see you next time. Take care.